Hi and welcome to this new travel mentory. This time I'm in Ireland where I'm going to show you the Enterprise train service from Dublin to Belfast in first class. Here you see our travel path and I also outlined the four steps that we make between the Irish capital and Belfast. Okay, this is Dublin's Connolly station, the largest of its kind in Ireland. The first thing I have to do here is to collect my ticket which I have pre-ordered online. I can do that at one of the ticket machines here in the station. Here we go, but before I head to the platform, let me explain the booking classes on this train. Low is obviously the cheapest travel option and it starts for 17 euros and 99 cents one way. If you add one euro, you can get a semi-flexible or for two euros a fully flexible ticket. And then there's first class, which costs 34 euros and 99 cents. So there is a difference of 17 euros between the cheapest way of traveling and first class. I booked the highest category for this trip and in first class you have some extra features. In addition to a more comfortable cabin, the ticket gives you full flexibility and you get a newspaper as well as an orange juice for free. However, there is no lounge that you could visit. The coaches were manufactured by Du Dietrich Ferroviere, now part of Alstom. Here you see the 2-1 seat layout in first class. Although the rolling stock is not new, the cabin looks immaculate because it has been refurbished not long ago. They have those seat reservation displays, everything around the seat is clean and there are power sockets under the seat. The info screens on the ceiling also add to the modern and spacious impression that this first class product creates. And here I got the promised newspaper, which, as I said, is part of the ticket. Food, on the other hand, is not included in the ticket price, but you can order various meals against additional payment. What you see now is the menu. I'm going to come back to it a bit later. For now, let me explain our current location and where we are going. At this moment, we're north of the River Liffey in Dublin. After leaving Connolly Station, we will cross the Royal Canal and move in northeastern direction. A landmark you can see from the train is Croke Park, which is a large stadium. And while we are leaving Dublin, I want to give you a short briefing about the main aspects of this trip. The travel time is 2 hours and 12 minutes for an airline distance of 88 miles. The train is propelled by a locomotive from the 201 class, which was built by General Motors. Yes, GM used to be in the train business as well. In the background you can now recognize Croke Park. Good morning ladies and gents. Welcome aboard this 1120 Enterprise service going to Belfast, London Place. And calling Drogheda Dundalk, Newry, Portadown and finally Belfast. And we're due to arrive there at 25 to 2, 13.35 into Belfast, London. Passengers who have boarded and are travelling Enterprise Plus. Our host is making his way through there and we'll take any order that you may have this morning. Passengers travelling with us in our Enterprise Class coaches, our trolley service is in operation, offering a selection of hot and cold drinks, cans and minerals waters and a selection of sandwiches and various other snacks. Regardless of your booking class, Wi-Fi internet is part of your ticket price. It's not made for large amounts of data, but you can browse the web and receive emails. Time to turn our attention to the food options on this train. There are different meals offered depending on the time of the day. These are served after 12 o'clock for example. I must say I did not expect such a variety of meals. You can also choose from an impressive range of beverages. Before noon you can get a breakfast, so this part of the menu applies to me. I chose the Enterprise full breakfast that comes with tea or coffee and six items that you can select. And don't make the mistake to believe that the black pudding is some sort of dessert. It's not. It's a sausage made from blood. I had to pay 11 euros and 40 cents for this breakfast, but I would say it's a reasonable price for a good meal on a train. However, that's only my personal standpoint. Tell me your opinion in the comment section below. I was quite happy with the catering on this train. 
I mean, if you compare it with other public train services, the food here is quite good and I appreciate that they do offer such service, even though you have to pay extra for it. I travel for fun here and in that regard I think the route itself is quite appealing. In this scene, for instance, you see the Irish coast next to the village of Laytown. In terms of speed, the average from Dublin to Belfast is 58 miles per hour. So it's not exactly a bullet train. And while I'm still working on my breakfast, you can see Drogheda, one of our steps on this trip. The satellite view in the upper right corner shows our current location. The next stop is Dundalk. Finally, we have arrived at Belfast Lenyon Place. So how can I assess this trip? I mean, it's not the fastest train, it's not the newest train either, but Irish Rail and their counterpart from Northern Ireland managed to establish a solid product. But wait a second, let's get out of the station. Okay, and while you see some footage of Belfast, I would like to continue with my evaluation. So the train sets are obviously well maintained, they have a nice modern cabin. Also, my particular train was on time. Besides, I really enjoyed the onboard service, I had a nice breakfast and that trip wasn't too expensive in my opinion, although that's debatable. However, there are no lounges at the stations, so that's an aspect that could be improved. To conclude this video, I have some footage from the standard carriage for you, where the seat density is higher, but it's a good travel option as well. That's it for this time, I hope you enjoyed the video and have an amazing day wherever you're watching.